Good day students, welcome to mathgoserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over section 1.1a of our Algebra 1 virtual textbook. We're going to be focusing on how to convert algebraic expressions from verbal to algebraic forms. Alright, instructions for the examples that we're going to be doing are as follows. Um, we're to convert the given expressions convert the given expressions into algebraic forms. Alright, question number one. What if we have the sum of x and 5? The sum of x and 5. All right, so what's the um, algebraic form of this expression? Now, first thing you have to note is that this format that is presented in is the verbal format, okay? Think about verbal as something you speak, something you can verbalize, okay? As in word form. We want, now want to convert it into an algebraic format where we make use of operations, variables, and numbers. Okay, all right, so sum of x and y, this word, word sum, sum indicates what operation, sum means to add, okay? So the sum of x and y solution is simply x plus 5, the sum of x and y, all right? So that's the answer to question number one. Now let's take a look at uh, question two. What if we have 7 more than x? 7 more than x. Now this is the verbal form. We are not going to change it into algebraic. 7 more than x. More than what operation do you think more than suggests? When you get in more of something, you're adding that uh, quantity, right? So more than indicates the operation of addition. Okay, so 8 more than x, guess what? We are going to start with the base value which is x and then 7 more means we simply add 7 to x. So this is 7 more than x. Okay, the interesting thing about this kind of expression is that the, the algebraic um, format is kind of like the reversal of the verbal format, the way it's written. All right, so this is algebraic. Algebraic, and the original is um, verbal. Okay, let's take a look at uh, question number three. Now, let's say we have the following verbal expression. X increased by 10, okay? X increased by 10. All right, so this format that we have right here is the verbal. Now we want to convert it into um, algebraic. So what does this word increased by suggest? Increased by just simply means you add, increase, just like more than, increase indicates addition. Okay, so x increased by 10, you're going to write it in exactly the same order as the verbal form. You start with x and increase by means to add 10. Okay, so that's the algebraic form of the original expression. Okay, let's take a look at question four. What if we have the product of x and seven? All right, this is the verbal form. What does um, the word product mean? What kind of operation is that? The word products 
simply means you multiply, okay? So product means multiply, okay? Or we can we can use, uh, write it using the dot product as the same um, the same operation. So let's just use the dot multiplication symbol here. So it means multiply. So the product of x and seven can be written as x times seven or 7x in its simplified form. Alrighty? Now let's take a look at question 5. What if we have the following verbal expression? The difference of x and 9. The difference of x and 9. This is a verbal format, so we're going to convert this into algebraic. Now, what does the operation difference suggest? Difference means you subtract. Okay, so the difference of x and 9 is simply x minus 9. That is the uh, algebraic form of this original expression. So this is algebraic. Okay, number six. What if we have uh, the verbal expression five less than k? Five less than k. This is the verbal format. So what's the algebraic? What's the algebraic? So we need to take a look at the um, operation less than. What does less than suggest? Remember more than suggested addition, right? So can you think about what less than indicates? Less than is subtraction. So five less than K, you do not write it in this order. It's reversed. Okay, five less than K means that the base amount you're starting with is k and then you subtract in 5 from it. Okay, so it's just like the more than you reverse the order. And this k minus 5 is our uh, algebraic format. All right, let's take a look at question number 7. Let's say we have um, the verbal expression. 10 decreased by y. Now this is verbal of course. What is the algebraic form of 10 decreased by y? Let's take a look at what the operation decreased means. Okay, so Decreased is the opposite of increased. When we talked about increased earlier in problem three, that indicated addition. What do you think decreased means? Decreased by. What does that mean? Decreased by indicates the operation of subtraction. Okay, so 10 decreased by y you, in the algebraic form, you write it in the same order. You have 10 decreased by 10 minus y as your algebraic form. Okay, so this is the algebraic form of um, 10 decreased by y. Now let's take a look at question 8. What if you have the expression, the quotient, the quotient of um, x and 3, the quotient of x and 3. This is a verbal format. We're going to go ahead and uh, express it in algebraic form. So the solution is as follows. Let's think about this word. I didn't spell it correctly. Quotient. What operation 
does quotient suggest? Quotient indicates division. Okay, so the quotient of x and 3, the term that comes first is the numerator, and the term that comes next is the denominator. Okay, or you can think about the first term as the divisor and the second term the dividend. Oh, no, sorry, x, the first term is the dividend and the second term is the divisor. Got it backwards. All right, so x and 3, the quotient of x and 3, you're just going to have this as x divided by 3. Numerator, denominator, dividend, divisor. All right, so this is the algebraic form of writing the quotient of x and 3. So that is the answer to question number 8. All right, let's take a look at uh, question number 9. What if you have the verbal expression k squared? How do we write this in algebraic form? k squared, this is the verbal form of the expression. Now let's write this in algebraic form. Okay, squared. What is the algebraic representation for the word squared? A number squared just simply means you raise to the second power. Okay, so raise to the second power. Okay, just think about exponentiating to the second power. All right, raised to the second power. So let's apply that here. K squared is simply going to be K with a um, power or exponential value of two, okay? It's just like superscript here. So K with a uh, exponent of two is K squared in algebraic form. All right, let's take a look at question 10, the last one. What is um, x cubed, x cubed in um, algebraic form? Now, x cubed is the verbal form of the expression. So now, uh, let's take a look at that operation cubed. What does that uh, how is that expressed in algebraic format? Something cubed is multiplied by itself three times. So cubed means you raise to the third power. Okay, raise to the third power or uh, yeah, x raised to the third power where 3 is basically your exponent. Okay, so x cubed in algebraic form is x raised to the third power, x with a power of 3, or 3 as the exponential value of x, okay? So x to the third power, that's how you write it in algebraic form. Okay, so how well did you understand the problems that we covered in this presentation? Now, to see if um, you've mastered the content we covered in this presentation, we'd like you to try out the following problems. You just work on um, these problems, and then while you're working on the problems, pause the video and then continue um, playing the video when you're done and you will see the answers, okay? So instructions are the same here to convert the given expressions into um, algebraic forms. Question one, 
you have the sum of k and 9. Number 2, you have 13 more than n. Number 3, you have b increased by 20. Question 4, you have the product the product of F and 9. Number 5, the difference of T and 12. Number 6, you have 8 less than Z. Let's partition the workspace for problem 7. You have 52 increased by Y. Number 8 you have the quotient of y and 40. Number 9, you have y squared. And number 10, you have t cubed. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead and um, convert the following expressions into algebraic forms. When you're done, click on play and then um, we are going to display the answers. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to try all the problems. The solutions are, are as follows. For number one, the sum of k and 9. For number two, 13 more than n. Number 3, B increased by 20. Number 4, the product of F and 9. Number 5, the difference of T and 12. Number 6, 8 less than Z. Number 7, 52 increased by y. Number 8, the quotient of y and 40. Number 9, y squared. Number 10, t cubed. So there go your answers. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of Algebra 1 and converting expressions from verbal to algebraic form, to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about the contents of this presentation or any algebra contents in general, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. Do visit our website at mathgodserve.com for more practice tools and you can scan our QR code for access to the playlist of our Algebra 1 virtual textbook. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.